All right, going to uh, make an attempt at a acorn craft, um, great fall craft. I am a teacher and always looking for ideas for art class, so this is one that would work great. Um, basically, you're going to need hot glue and acorns and probably paint. Um, and uh, you can come up with all kinds of different things. You can also, if you have some old material or even pipe cleaners can work if you're doing it with small children. Um, you can make little scarves. Here's a snowman I started, never finished. That is not a face I drew on there. That is actually how it looked from the wild when I picked it up. It just happened to be on the head after I got it glued together. I noticed it there. Anyway, kind of interesting feature. Um, anyway, so I'm going to attempt to put some things together. I have um, all this little wooden stuff that I got for free at a flea market. Um, and so I'll probably make some of them. Um, use these little wooden beads for heads for some people. And then these make great little caps. Um, I just like them because they have the little hole in and that little hole that little hole fits great on that little peak. Now if I can get it to fit. Um, and you hot glue them together. But anyway, we'll see what we come up with. You can do different animals, different people, all kinds of different things. And then I have this paint to give them some features. This is actually just a sample paint. I found a whole bag of it at Goodwill for a couple dollars. So I've been using that when I craft. Um, that's just why I have that exact kind. It's just because I found it cheap. Anyway, let's get started. Oh, it's not me. 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 Oh, it's not me.
Yeah. 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 Um, here we have a turtle. As you can see, I really am a fan of the wiggly eyes instead of painting. You could paint too, but here I have a small acorn. Took the cap off of a bigger acorn and put it on the top. Used some little twigs for the legs. Just hot glued. Doesn't look the most professional, but it's still neat for an art project. Here I've got a little man. You see the um, two acorn caps, got some twigs, two acorns without their caps, and then I used um, a wooden bead for the head. You can use an acorn too, I just happen to have one. Then for the ears, um, I tore apart a pine cone and put those little lobes there, and then a pine cone seed actually fell out. And that you can see I used for the nose. Again, twigs for the arm, acorn cap, and the wiggly eyes. And I have this little fawn, or deer, acorn cap painted pink. Twigs for the legs. Twigs for the tail. And two acorns. Again, I used the little pine cone um, ears and the wiggly eyes and we have uh, in case you can't tell what it is I got a fox here used a little pine cone for his tail twigs for the legs acorns for the body and the head acorn cap and again Pine, uh, pine cone lobes for the ears and a little bit of paint. Then I have the snowman. We have a acorn cap painted white. Acorn, 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 and acorn cap. And twigs for the arms. I also got this little squirrel. Pine cone tail, acorn head, acorn body, twigs for the feet, acorn cap, painted red and white, and then the good old wiggly eyes. And you can see here he's got the little flannel scarf. Makes a great addition as well. One nice thing about this craft is that it's very cheap. Like I said, I teach school, so that makes a great art project. Um, acorns, twigs, pine cones, free if you can find someone who has an oak tree and some pine trees. The Walmart carries the little paint bottles, 50 cents a bottle. Little wiggly eyes, I think it was 97 cents. Or pack of 80 at Walmart and 30 brushes cheap but do the job for this I think they again were like maybe two bucks